Hey Cancer, and thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Alright, so I am about to do your August spread. This is just a general spread, so whatever pops up is what we're dealing with, okay? So let's see what is going on for the sign of Cancer in the month of August. What is going on for the sign of Cancer in the month of August? Show me a past, present, and future spread on Cancer for the month of August. Got the Magician in reverse, so there may be some manipulation around a certain situation this month. Okay, so let's see. All right, so the energy for this reading is the Nine of Swords, okay? So something that you're in your head about, something that's keeping you up, something that you're stressing. But, you know, guys, always remember that this is a mental, like, this is self-inflicted. So if there's something that you're worried about, just ask yourself, is there a solution to this problem? If there's a solution to the problem, then worry about the solutions, Okay, or just work on the solution rather because stressing something is never going to resolve it. Okay, behind that we do have the Ace of Swords. So it could be you being worried about a new start that you're having. Okay, so let's see how this plays out. So the first card that you guys have for your past is the Devil card. So you could have been involved with the Capricorn or you could have been involved with somebody that was just uh, a person or situation that was just extremely toxic for you. Why is this double card here? So there is a toxic situation, but with the situation, you're kind of getting out of your head about things. You might have been seeing more clarity, getting out of any traps that you may have set for yourself. Okay. And there was someone or something that was hard for you to move away from. And it could have been something that was toxic. But in trying to move away from this thing, I think that you guys got to a lighter place. Okay, the next card I have here is the Four of Swords. So you're just taking a break. You, you know, thinking about how did I get here? What can I do to move me forward in a better way? Just being very um, pensive on that. All right, and with the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, it's like you're taking a break because you don't know how to proceed. You're trying to find um, a better way because maybe you were doing things in the past that just things weren't working out for you the way you wanted. So it's like, okay, well, let me take a break because what I've been doing isn't working, and I have to find another approach to the situation. I have to do more research on the situation or on this person in order to be able to, you know, get things to move forward in a good way. Or in a more favorable way for what it is that you want. Okay. And there's messages of love coming in. Or messages about something that you feel emotionally fulfilled by. And I apologize if you guys hear jingling in the background. It's not you. It's my cat going nuts. Alright. So here we are there. Now the next card and the last card that you guys have for your past. Is the Four of Cups. So there's messages of love coming in, and whether it's you guys um, making an offer to someone or someone making an offer to you, um, there's just not a decision being made on it just yet. Why is this four of cups here? Could have possibly been with a fire sign, but there's definitely, uh, you know, the, the offer that was given, there was passion behind that offer. And I just feel that somebody wasn't emotionally ready to accept this offer. You know, it's not that the person, that there wasn't love there with that other person or, you know, with the receiving end of an offer that may have been given to you. But I just feel that somebody wasn't um, emotionally available to move forward with the situation, whether it be with the person or a new job, just wasn't stable enough to go on with that. Now, in your present moment, we have the strength card in the reverse. So you guys feel like you may not have the strength to deal with a certain situation. 
But there's always strength when that card pops up, okay? Could possibly be a, a Leo that you were dealing with, because uh, you do have the King of Wands there and the Sun card, um, and or just like a fire sign that may be acting up around you, okay? But there's definitely frustration here. And I feel like there's somebody who's getting pressed in the situation, okay? And you're just trying to find balance within all of this. I feel like there's a heavy, frustrating energy, and all you want is balance. And I'm just laughing right now because my cat knows he's not allowed to go on the couch that is across from me right now. But he only does it when I'm doing videos. It's like he knows these cats are too smart, man. Next card, you guys have the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So you're trying to find balance. There's something that's frustrating you, but there's something new that's starting at the same time. And this is something that may have a slow start, but it's going to be something that leads to stability, longevity. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? And with this new start, maybe you're not proud of this new start that's coming in. Or not proud of the fact that you have to start new in general. Okay, because there's the satisfaction. There's something new starting for you guys, but it's something that I don't feel that you, you want. Okay. And we have the King of Swords. So it could be you dealing with um, an air sign, someone who's very powerful. Or this could be you guys just taking that energy because I feel that you were upset or frustrated about something that may have occurred. And then what the King of Swords does as he emotionally detaches himself from any situation that's happening and just works on, you know, what needs to get done. So this could be you guys saying, like, I don't want to do this, but I have to. Okay? This new thing that's coming in, I have to work on it and I have to stay focused on it. And I can't be caught up in my emotions of last week or last month. Okay. And maybe this is a bad situation here. Maybe this is something that you fully haven't looked into. Okay, so just make sure that you have all the research done on whatever it is that you're moving towards. And that it doesn't end up being something that blows up in your face. And I think that you guys are going to do just that with the hermit. It's kind of like you withdraw, but the hermit is somebody who reads a lot, does research, studies, you know, acquires a lot of wisdom, knowledge. They meditate because they just want to be more grounded and be able to make a clearer decision. Now, moving into the future, we do have the Wheel of Fortune. So things moving forward and progressing in a really good way. You know, with this major arcana, there's just going to be big things happening for your life. Things taking a turn that you may, you know, be needing right now. But with this, uh, with this good thing that's coming in, it's going to cause you to cut off communication with someone or someone to cut off communication with you. But I see that um, being at your advantage. There's something that's going to be cut off, but it's to your advantage. Because things are moving forward quickly. And this is uh, your card here, guys. All right? So you could be just going into this new situation really quickly. And it could be something really good for you. Or you could be moving locations, moving to another house. Um, maybe even traveling. And then with this traveling, you're going to have to cut someone off. Or someone's going to have to cut you off. Now, the next card you have for your future is the Two of Swords in the Reverse. Where there could have been two things that I say you weren't sure what decision to make, which way to go, what route to take. But with the Two of Swords, that decision is made, the blindfold is off, and you're ready to move forward in a very decisive manner. Okay. Because there could have been illusions around the situation. Or maybe the decision that you made, there's illusions tied to it. And with the Ten of Cups in the reverse, it it may cause some, you know, uh, instability on the home front. Okay. So it's like there's a decision here that you may make, and you may be so sure that you're making the right decision, but it may cause to instability. Let me get one more card to clarify this. Okay. So we have the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands in the reverse. So... It's interesting because this may be showing the two directions that you can take, okay? Because we have the Knight of Wands in the reverse, which is the fire sign that did it pop up for you guys. Yeah, so I said it could have possibly been a fire sign or Leo for you. 
So maybe this person isn't as reliable as you think, okay? Somebody who's very charming, somebody that, you know, you may be gravitated towards, but they're just, they're not going to give you, um, if, if what you're looking for is stability and longevity, it's not going to be found with the Knight of Wands in the reverse. This is someone who's going to make you feel amazing for a night and be gone the next morning. And then you have the King of Pentacles in the reverse, and this is just somebody who's very, very stable within themselves, within their money. Um, they provide a roof, you know, over their family's head, food on the table, all of that good stuff. So just make sure that you're making the right decision coming into the future. Don't go for all the flashiness that this world has to offer. Go for, you know, the route that's going to be stable, you know, that's going to be reliable. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. So there may be abundance that's coming in here, or this could just be you, um, you know, just being happy and powerful within yourself. It sometimes is a singles card, okay? Now, the last card you guys have here is a Seven of Swords in the reverse. So careful. If there's something that you don't want to get caught doing, uh, this is definitely not the month to partake in it. Or if you're dealing with a person or situation that's doing some foul, you know, shit, it's going to come out. Secrets will be revealed. Someone is going to get caught with something. And it could cause some chaos. It could be in reference to um, an injustice, okay? Something that you or somebody else chose to do, and it's going to cause conflict. All right, so careful, because somebody's definitely getting caught this month doing some shit. All right, and it may lead to an end of something with the death card being at the bottom. So if you don't want to, you know, completely compromise everything that you're in and you know it could be you, you know, on the being on the cheater's end or just not being honest with the situation, just be careful. Okay. And just be aware if you have any gut feelings that may be, you know, your partner or something happening at work. All right, so what I'm going to do is pull a... Um, Earth Magic Oracle card that I do every month for those who are new. This is by Stephen D. Farmer. They're always extremely accurate and give, you know, the greatest guidance. So let's see what's in the cards this month for Cancer. What is the advice for Cancer for August? Bam. New beginning. Okay. So let's see what is this Dawn card about? Okay. The start of the day brings with it reassurance that the night has passed, making way for new opportunities, no matter what has come before. It reminds us of the predictability of the daily cycles. That first light that forecasts the sun's appearance awakens the winged ones, who sing and chirp happily at the advent of another morning. It's a time of fresh beginnings from which we can create whatever kind of experience we desire. In this image, we see the rays of the sun stretching into the valley while the sun itself peaks around the corner, as if it had set its course to proceed around the bend in the river, which appears relatively still from its rest during the night. This scene exemplifies renewal and new beginnings. When you witness the initial stages of dawn without the benefit of a clock or other time place, for a while you may not be able to discern whether the sky is really lightning. The stars remain visible, and shadows of the night so shape the landscape. It is about the way, it is that way with any beginning. It is difficult to tell where the old ends and where the new begins. Gradually, however, it becomes clear to your senses that the light is definitely increasing, and as you continue to observe, the world slowly wakes up, accompanied by all sounds, smells, and freshness associated with it. Soon, the first glimmer of the sun shows. A new day has begun. This is a time to say farewell to the old, and to honor the new by releasing any self-imposed constraints or resistance to the truth that you know. This is your chance to develop that project you have been thinking about. Embark on that adventure that you have dreamed on going on and take risks in initiating what your intuitive self has been telling you to do. As the prospects becomes increasingly visible and real, doubts and uncertainties may arise. But rest assured, just as dawn inevitably turns into day, by heeding your inner guidance, you will succeed. All right, so that's very beautiful because you guys do have a lot of new beginnings that are coming out, but then I feel the end of your reading was just kind of like a bam. You know, tables turning, things switching up really, really fast. 
and things progressing in a fast way for you guys where there may be something from the past that you just have to drop and let go. Whether, you know, that secret that came out, whether that was a reference to you or somebody else, I just feel like it's setting you up for a new chapter in life where you're going to walk away from that and you're going to be able to start something new. So I think that's a very powerful thing. So right now you have to have your mind on the future and success and what's going to be best for you because I feel that there's a lot of changes. And with the spread that you guys have, it might not be a smooth change. You know, it might be something that causes a little bit of friction and a little bit of pain either to you or other people involved but this is going to be something powerful so this is definitely a very powerful month for you guys where you're releasing you know anything that you've been holding on to from the past and moving forward with something much stronger so i think that it's going to be a great thing it's just that uh some doors may just close for you before this new beginning starts and it's okay you know be able to release things of the past that don't work out for you and know that it was there to mold you into what it is that you have to do in the future so, you know, thank the God creator, you know, whatever it is that you believe in, thank them for all these lessons because it's preparing you for what you're about to embark on. And I think that's going to be something very powerful for you guys. So I think that's great. And I'm happy for you guys. And I hope that you get through this in the most, um, in the painless way possible, the least pain possible. Okay. So I hope everything works out great. And I will be back in a few days to do some love readings for you guys. So if in the meantime, you do want your own personal reading, I am accepting personal reading. So I'll leave all the description um, information below. Okay, take care.